hello guys welcome to today's video by trust Stanley. and this is a ts tech talks video um on today's video guys i'm going to show you how to edit video or cut and split video on your cut video editor although if you are watching my video on the previous content you would have already known how to do this if you've been following up there is no need to watch this but for some reason i might going to i'm actually going to chip in some information so make sure you watch the video properly all right now let's go ahead and open our kind master if you don't have kind master yet go ahead and search kind master on your google play app and download it now let's dive in all right so kind master is open now uh, the first thing i'm going to do is to click on create choose your aspect ratio i'm going to leave this at default because that is the youtube aspect ratio i'm going to click on next to continue and now the first thing i'm going to do is actually to choose the video that i want to edit so i'm going to go ahead and choose this one and then close it out so this is the video i want to edit now um since i said i'm going to be showing you guys how to do cut and join or how to split your video on kind master this is all you need to do. Now, before you start cutting your video, you should notice on the bottom area, that is your timeline. It is called the timeline on your Kind Master. Now, if you want to work on the timeline, go ahead and use your two thumb and then open it um, or you close it. It's going to actually make your scene or your timeline bigger or smaller so that you easily um, navigate through the timeline easily and you can move it around and get the accurate area without actually um, making mistakes on where exactly you are cutting. So um, to do the cut and join, first I'm going to show you guys quick tip. Um, you notice somebody walked past this video, right? So right now the person hasn't passed yet. So this is where the person started moving from here. From here, it showed the person's leg a little. The reason why it's being slow is because I zoomed in too much. So from here on, the person started displaying a little. So I uh, will have to cut this area off and allow it to begin from where the person's leg started showing. So to do that, move on to that particular area on the timeline. Click on the timeline and it's going to display different options for you. So the first option, the first icon right there, is the scissors icon now that scissors icon actually allows you to cut and split the video into um different area that you want or into a particular pieces and then you know it's like a scissors like scissors you can use scissors to cut things and then you cut and then you remove so go ahead and click on that scissors icon now the first option it says um trim trim to left of the playhead now when you choose that particular option to trim to the play um to left of the playhead what it's going to do it's going to trim that particular section and then it's going to move it to the beginning so the beginning of the video is no longer going to exist apart from this other one that you are going to choose now let's go ahead and tap on that let's see now you notice um the previous one no longer exists the reason why you do not you can notice the water level is a bit different now if i move you see the person started displaying immediately but before you have to scroll a lot before you start seeing the person's leg actually let me show you guys um let me make this even more convincing for you so i'm going to do the same thing so um because i already trimmed to the left it's no longer going to display an option to trim to the left now there is another option that says trim to the light right so i'm going to do as early the trim to the right i'm going to tap on that and you notice it has been trimmed to the right now if i move the video you notice the person's leg no longer shows that is because um on the right hand area what it actually displays is the person walking by or walking towards the scene but it actually trimmed that area off so what i just did is trim to the left and trim to the right the left actually trims from that particular spot to the beginning of the video so it removes them automatically but this particular practice is not actually very encouraging um there are still different ways to do it and get it accurately right without confu confusing or not being sure of what you just did so now let me go ahead and undo and undo again i just did undo twice that means it's going to bring back everything i i took away previously so let's scroll 
you notice the scrolling is like a bit too long, right? Now, the reason is because, you know what, let me zoom in so that I'll be able to get to, get to the area. So this is actually the area we actually caught the other time. Now, the reason is because um, I zoomed in, so it's just way too far behind. So um, this is the exact area. Now, um, I'm going to zoom in even further. I'm going to zoom in even more. All right. Um, I'm satisfied with this level. So I'm going to try to, okay, now this is where the person start moving, right? Now, let's say you want to cut this properly. So to cut it properly, another option you do, instead of doing cut or split left, you click on it, select the scissors icon. Instead of trimming it to the left or the playhead, you can do split um, at playhead. Now, what the split at playhead does is actually it cuts your video at that particular area where you currently have the playlist um on top like you notice this orange or red icon right there on the bottom of the playlist and you notice the timeline um it says zero zero ratio zero zero ratio zero seven dot nine that is actually the particular time frame of that video so if you want to split it's going to split at that exact time that the timeline is currently on so if you move it a little now it's going to move the timeline even further you can notice it's now on eight and if i move it further try to notice the leg at the edge of the screen you can notice the leg displays and when i move it the other way um, backward the leg disappears that is because i'm moving it towards the timeline the timeline is actually um, consists a lot of clips and a lot of videos and a lot of motion going on in the background so depending on whatever you want to do you just go ahead and move the timeline play around with it and get exactly what you want now um, since I do not want all of the um, long uh, video to play before the person start moving, I want the person to start moving and the leg to start showing um, just immediately or not too long. So all I need to do is say split at playhead. Now I just did split at playhead, right? Now to get rid of the beginning, since we do not want the beginning, click on it and then hit delete on this left hand area but let me undo but if for some reason you are not sure what you want to delete go right back and then click play to be very sure that that is exactly what you want to delete so click play and once the video plays you'll be able to be convinced that that is exactly what you want so i'm going to click on that and now hit delete now if i go back to the beginning and play the video you notice it do not take long and the person start display right now that is exactly what we want now what if for some reason in between this video or in between this area we want to get rid of a particular scene or we do not want this person to show at that particular time all we need to do is to click on that area click on this split icon and then say split at playhead you notice it has split at that particular playhead. Now, this is a different scene and this is a different scene. Now, let's say um, we move it forward and then we want to get rid of this area. Then click on it. Click on this um, um, scissors icon. Click on split at playhead. Now, it split it. Now, you notice now that um, this one is right there. This one is in the middle and this one is here so the one we want to get rid of is the one in the middle so all you need to do is to click on it and then tap delete so it deletes the image for you now what we just did is getting rid of the particular scene and leaving the rest of the scene intact now if i play the video you will notice it but um you might not notice it too big because um it's not too much you see you didn't notice um the difference but actually the video actually jumped on that particular area try to observe the movement of the leg it actually jumped so um you might not notice it that much because it's very accurate so we just got rid of a particular scene right there so now let's assume for some reason you want to make use of um this last option that says um split and insert freeze frame right go ahead and click on that now what this actually means is that um you actually split the video and it actually inserted a freeze frame right there after the um after it split it now let me go ahead and zoom out so that you see what i mean you notice right there there is an image icon right here right now that is a freeze frame what the freeze frame means is that at that particular area it actually um inserted a 
an area where the face or the person is not displaying but right here right here the person is supposed to be displaying right here now let me play the video so that you get what actually happened so the person moved beyond that area right now nothing is actually happening here if you notice the water is still let me go ahead and play the video if you notice the water is actually still not moving and then the water continue moving now the reason is because it actually took a picture of that particular area and then inserted that um, particular scene on that area now if for some reason we want to um, add another video or replace that area that freeze area with another video we can go ahead and do that or add text into it it actually makes it a bit creative you know what for this particular um, um, tip let me go ahead and open a different video so that you get exactly what i mean all right so i'm going to click on video um, i'm going to try to click on this other video right now so i'm going to scroll over to this area this is where the person walked by right now i'm going to zoom in a little a little a little now um let's say when this person walked towards this red dot this red stuff like that red sign he is going to pass there right now i'm going to actually do that particular trick there so i'm going to freeze the video from moving on that area so i'm going to click on this split area click on split and insert freeze frame now this area is a freeze frame now watch the video plays normal and it freezes now from here i can see um I'm, I'm just trying to do a tutorial right now so All right, I just made a test. I'm going to change the color to red, confirm it, and and I'm also going to change the font to make it a bit bigger. You know, it's too big. It's too big. And then I'm going to add a background to the test. Now, the reason why I'm adding a background is just for it to display properly while I make the video. Now, this is what I just did. I just said when this guy passes that sign, but actually I want it to start from where the video started, where the image started. So I'm going to like click and move it to this area. I think is here, it's right there. So until the freeze finishes, I want it to end where the freeze finishes. I'm going to split that from that area. You know what? Let me move it back. What instead of splitting, and then and then do even one more thing. Um, I'm going to draw. I'm going to draw instead. I'm going to draw on that area. Um, or instead of drawing, I'm going to point at this red stuff. So um, I just pointed at the red stuff. Uh, let me undo because it's too small. Um, I want to increase the size of this and then select red is fine. Now that is fine. So um, let me confirm that it ended the same area. Okay, it ended the same area. Now let's play the video. So this is how the video is going to play. Um, let me go back even more. So this video is playing it started playing and then the person got there and then freeze and then the right top shows and then the right top disappears the person continues moving this is actually a good way to add effect and make your video very interactive and interesting to your viewers so even though it's a tutorial this also works fine for tutorials and depending on whichever trick you want to use on your kind master so once you're done all you need to do is to click on save um actually click on this icon to save it and click on save and your video will be saved for you so that is all i want to show you guys under how to cut and join on your kind master so if you guys have any question on this video please leave it on the comment section and hopefully i'll be able to answer any of them if i can't i'm going to try to re um, do some research on it and leave your comment make sure you leave your comment i really appreciate smart like and share the video with your friends i'm going to see you on my next video guys stay safe and peace